Hey, what's going on, peeps? It's your dog, Toddy, checking in with another video for you, man. Hey, let's get straight to the business, man. I was out here in these Twitter streets. Yes, I said streets. I came across a tweet that was very interesting to me um, for a couple of different reasons. It was a tweet that uh, former Atlanta Falcons wide receiver Harry Douglas uh, recently made, actually, I think he made it today, if memory serves me correctly. But um, Harry Douglas says, "Hey, I wish y'all like it, like it if Roddy White, Julio Jones, and myself started our own show." Now that immediately caught my eye because, first off, I would love it. I absolutely would love it. Um, I really love the the what's going on in the uh the podcast and on YouTube space. You know, when you, when you have former players, um they come on, they have their own show and they give a lot of insight and they they tell us some behind the scenes things that we that we didn't already know, like Ovin Mahaley and uh Michael Turner are doing, and you know, there's numerous other examples uh for other players that played through um different teams. Um so that's the first thing that was interesting to me. And also, the Julio Jones factor was very interesting, too, because this, this lets me know, in, in order for in order for Harry Douglas to tweet this, that means that these three gentlemen have, have already been discussing this, and it looks like it's something that's going to happen. Y'all know how that goes, you know. Uh, when you have an idea like this, you, you huddle up with the crew. Y'all say, hey, yeah, we should go ahead and do this. And then you present it um to the masses to, to the public so this lets me know that they've already discussed it and it, it's probably something that's going to happen and um it it intrigues me because you know these, these are you know three three guys that played for the falcons and also julio jones who who's has um always had a reputation of, of being reserved introverted you know don't speak a lot you know um and also earlier this year of course you know you had uh the uh matt ryan getting inducted into the falcons ring of honor which which julio um missed and also he had missed the um there was a ceremony held for matt ryan also at the fox theater in atlanta which julio also missed and we actually made a uh we did a video on that uh because I, I felt like julio should should have been there so we did a video uh about that on this channel uh what you see right here um and also i talked about this on my social media and also when i talked about it on my social media that that brought in julio jones's family and they came and they got on my neck <laughs> you know they they was on my neck uh for speaking about julio you know um uh i think it was julio's aunt she first told me to mind my you know business and only speak about stuff that i know about and uh the very next day julio jones nephew came for my neck and he pretty much um reiterated her initial comments that um you know just mind your own business you don't know what happened behind closed doors um to kind of summarize you know um how they felt about what i said about julio on social media now with that said um going back to the tweet something about this tweet really caught my eye you know if i scroll let me you if i scroll down on this tweet you see right here harry douglas responds to someone he says he doesn't owe anyone an apology now I saw this original, the original tweet that he's replying to has been deleted. I did see the original tweet. The, the person that he's replying to, and I'm paraphrasing here, but they said uh, Julio Jones owes the fan base an apology because of the Shannon Sharp phone call on, on national TV. Here you say, here, here you see, excuse me, Harry Douglas says he doesn't owe anybody an apology. Now, um, the person responds, I don't think I said he owed it. I asked if he was going to, and I assume your answer is no. That phone call was, was extremely tacky. 
and we don't pay him so nope he doesn't owe fans anything but it was ugly 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 as ugly can be described thanks for the reply now this is the very interesting tweet right here harry douglas final reply was if you only knew half you're entitled to feel your you're entitled to feel however you want to feel let me repeat that harry douglas says if you only knew the half you're entitled to feel however you want to feel now that really caught my attention because again going back to when i had my back and forth with julio's immediate family they're pretty they pretty much told me the same thing on tidy if you only knew what was going behind going on behind closed doors you probably wouldn't feel that way so now i'm i'm wondering like what happened well, harry douglas is saying the same thing that julio's family said so was there really something going on that has have not been put out there to the public or put out there to the falcons fans you know so I'm very interested to know um just want to drop in and you know and, and talk about this i'm interested to know what you guys would, would think i got i got two questions for you um let me know in the comment section do you want julio roddy and, and harry douglas to have their own show to have their own podcast uh, to to have their own youtube channel that's the first question put that in the comment section and let me know second question do you guys do you guys think I should reach out to Julio Jones's nephew and try to get him on the show and talk to him? You know, let me know that in the comment section also. You know, if you want me to try to reach, and I'm not saying I can get him, uh, or I'm not saying that I can get him to come on the show. I can I can contact him, but I don't know if I can get him to come on the show. But let me know. Do you would you like me to see if I can get Julio's nephew to come on the show? And sit down and talk to us. Comment that in the chat and or, or the comment section and let me know what you think. You know, now if you don't want me to comment him, uh, if you don't want me to contact him to bring him on the show, let me know that also. If you feel like, man, this is water on the bridge, we done moved on, we don't care. Say no, Toddy, don't comment him, move on. But um, let me know in the comment section. Uh, if you like the content that, that we drop here on that line of bird game, make sure that you all subscribe, subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell, and we will be back soon with another video. Peace.